Oh, JCV's mid. I didn't even know Ooh. you had a truck on it. <laughs> check, check. Hey guys. What's going hey. on, Brink? I didn't even know you had a truck on it. Well, I call it truck, but it's an Escalade. I just don't want to say Escalade because it sounds like, you know. <laughs> it sounds like we all know what exactly talk about. what it sounds you like. In a rap video. <laughs> <laughs> we all talk crap immediately, and this is why I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Well, I don't mind saying to you guys, but uh, like to random people in chat, you seem like you would get uh, eaten alive. Well, it just would sound right. <laughs> I mean, my my was talking about his six hundred thousand dollar day though yesterday. He sold uh, six hundred thousand dollars in appliances yesterday. Everything <laughs> story uh, condos. He said he sold one hundred fifty thousand day before. Which, I mean, that's pretty good. That gone. Yeah, but he's reaching the, you know, the pinnacle age of sales. It's amazing how much some of those high-end appliances can cost. Yeah. I did a uh, renovation a while back. Actually, I think I told you about it. Where are you at? Right. <gasps> uh, north. Dead. You got killed by air. Here versus Brimo, we're all dead. Um. Let's see. Yeah, we got a pretty decent team. How'd you get killed? No, oh, JCV has a lot more units. I told him I needed help, but they didn't want to do that. Oh, he you, for got as early as you killed him, you just gave their team an advantage. The yeah, charity, pretty much. The just killed myself. Early on full share. I mean, I realize that sentence without full share is just as soon as you kill one, you insta win, but at the same time, as there shouldn't be a benefit <laughs> to losing a player. Yeah. I don't know. It's just way too difficult to play it with no share. Yeah. It's really not like a half share. You get such entrenched navies that it just can't. It doesn't work. I mean, if the two mids are squaring off and like one mid goes up, well, it costs the other mid chances. You know, chances are it costs them a lot of units and commander health, so he can't exactly push. And in the interim, the air player now has two eco, so he can easily tech up mid and air at the same time because he's got just the double eco. Yeah, this guy goes, "Oh, I'm gonna help game. mid out now." It's like, "Oh, are you? Are you gonna help mid out now after I've been double eco this <laughs> whole so time? Pissed. Is this what you're gonna do?" <laughs> I mean, people just wait till the last second. They're like, oh, I guess I'll come help. It's like, oh, you guess? You guess she'll do that? Well, no, no, you missed the entire point. They don't start helping until units are headed for their base. Oh, I know. Believe me, I have this conversation with everybody I play with. It's ridiculous. It's like, as, as long as units are behind your last two mexes right there, um, they don't they don't have a care in the world. But as soon as your base is threatened, that means that they're right behind it. So... Yeah, that lack of team play just irritates me. I love team play. Good lord. My reclaim screwed up. My engineers bumped into each other and broke the tree clump where I was trying to build an air factory. Are you air? That sucks. No. I really screwed up my build. I mean, good, but bad for my team, let's put it that way. One of those ones where you're going to end up using most of the mass you get? Yeah, and I never make that plan. I swear to God. Finally. It's like people wait till they have so much. Like, alright, I've got 37 destroyers now. I can do something. <laughs> cool, thanks! <laughs> it's I just so wasn't true, sure. though. I wasn't sure, like, if I could really kill him or not. So, like, I just sat there with all that DPS and did nothing with him. I 
I kind of like your opposing beach tactic. Oh! You just drop a whole bunch of engineers, like mid-ocean, and then just swarm the guy with tech one, beating out rock, because rock generally tends to eco. Do I have air at all? Heck no. Of course not. Nobody ever builds air in Supreme Commander. What madness are you speaking of? I don't know. I must be in Sparta. This is indeed madness. <laughs> Pretty good. Oh, now he comes over. He's like, oh, God. That's right. You're Dragon dead. is getting absolutely no math. I don't know what she's doing, just wandering around killing me. Yeah, I don't know, because I'm getting nothing here. It's killing me, man. It's killing me. Who am my versus? A jukebox. You're going to have an easy game. Oh, Dragon. Sure about That's that? That's sneaky. That's sneaky brat. That's pretty clever. She got me a little bit. What'd she do? She snuck an engineer behind. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, Brimo is... Why'd she rename? Brimo is Dragon? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, good! Four, five, six, seven, eight strap bombers! <laughs> and what is he doing? Your game does not sound like it's going very well. Why on earth do I have to ping this crap? Good. Alrighty then. Dragon has actually gotten substantially better at most of the positions than she was a little while ago. I just don't... Why is it that Air's sole job in this fucking game is to zoom in on their upgrading units and <laughs> sit there all game, never zoomed out? Yeah, my my rock guy who decided it was best not to go navy, imagine that, is now paying for his insolence. But he has somehow... No, he hasn't. I love how we have two set in this game going in the same chat. It's like eventually these two topics are going to converge yeah. and we'll be talking about the same point in the game. Just... Why okay. am I getting double team mid? White White is just building battleships and parking them just outside of his navy. Okay, Jeffrey, go help uh, Audrey at the show. Go put on a new show. Whatever show you want. Alright. I love it. I love it. He got. I won air. Yes, you won air. You parked more ASF middle and did nothing with them all game. <laughs> Brilliant.
No, you've won air. You know, what, what exactly does that mean when the air player says that? I Congra won air. You Congratulations, just... you're a real sentence player now. God. You now have sentence rage. He's like, why didn't you start upgrading over shield? I'm like, every single one of my players lost. Oh, God, never mind. I'm playing with Illusional. That's why he lost air. Guess what, Dave? Guess what he built? Guess what he built? Strap bombers. A mother effing oh, nuke. nuke. He built a nuke. Yep. That's right. And what is he going to do? Two Tech 3 mass extractors to the guy who has double mass. <laughs> that is great. All right, so Seraphim versus Seraphim, and I have more eco. This should be a piece of cake. If I can get out of the power stall. Power stall is strong. But whatever. Bite the bullet and get done with it. Ionic, can you give me some power? I have so much power. <laughs> Why do you have to be on that team over there? I could really use your help over here. Also, I oh find God, it here comes. hysterical that there is a Selen in the back of your base knocking out power generators. Oh, that now is purple's gonna just lose. amazing. I have T2 power, it doesn't matter. Oh, guess what, guys? It's cool because yellow beat him in Eco, and Eco wins games because once you have enough mass, the other team control Ks. Ha. <laughs> Ah, there's Ras. What? Oh, good for crying out loud. Are you serious? Really, Jukebox? Really, you're going to be that way? Don't do that. Oh, nice drop. That was Juke, wasn't it? Play Aeon, go yep. Tech 3, build, build, Spectres, just stop that T3 rush. <laughs> this is legitimately Debating happening. whether to go T2 land and get flak. I mean, dude. I think um... you should probably go Spectres as soon as they hit T3. That's what I would do. I'm gonna go mobile anti-air. Well, that sucks. Now I have a nice shiny new T2 factory and I can't do anything about it. Wonderful! Yay for lack of scouting. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, he never scouted until after those strap bombers appeared. I'm like, can I get some scouts? Six strap bombers appear. All he can do is control the scouts. They fly right past the strap bombers. The ASF never move. Don't worry, our beach player has more restores than our air player. Well, that's, that's the thing that's handy. happening. That's happening right now. I did very badly this game. Good lord. Alright, let's see. If I can get this back online. Gosh, rock strategy was just awful. I can just get this one freaking cruiser out, I will be okay. Supposedly yellow has two... Th I don't know, it says 2k mass per tick, but that's obviously wrong, but it's like... He's just building nukes. I'm like, nukes are not going to help you with Percival's mid. And, like, what, are you just going to keep firing nukes? <laughs> My uh, beach guy is a tier 3 sonar but he won't put it anywhere useful. So he can't see what he's shooting at? <laughs> so he's just getting himself killed?
I'm just never going to be able to play Sentence anymore. Not because I'm not good at it, but because I just cannot handle the dumb... I really need this cruiser. A bad kind of way. Ugh. This pains my very soul. Frigates are gone, and about to have T2 Navy, so I think I'm good. Oh my gosh. This guy is sending Tech 1 Light Artillery into Salem's. And, um, that's fun. Well, it's 30 minutes in. Purple has... Oh, I'm versus R. A max. Two max, okay. and he's building a fat boy. That should complete sometime tomorrow. That makes more sense, because I don't think Jukebox Hero is this aggressive. Jeffrey? Okay. I'm going to show now. Our sentence experience is complete, because we have now hung. White is putting his battleships in range of T2 Torp launchers, because that's a thing you do. <laughs> <laughs> the longest range in the game. Well, better just launch him at the thing. Yellow is still circling his ASF mid without any scouting. I think Mai's... Yeah, his CPU has the hiccups, I think. Let me know if it uh, unhangs, because I'm not on my computer. Okay. Phil, are you dead? You want to play one? Oh yeah, no, I definitely want to play one with somebody who wants to do anything but sit in their base. <laughs> I have to tell Yellow, Yellow just lost six Spectres to two T1 Inties because he funny. never moved his air. That's hilarious. He literally lost That's all his gunship. Thank you. Ionic, please tell me that's not your new headset. I don't know why it's happening. Sorry, what? Dave, don't worry. He doesn't care because it's cool not to care. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Maximum cool. What's that headset doing? Oh, it just sounds like really grainy far away. Oh, I think yeah. he, you were talking to your um, yeah, daughter? Well, yeah, yeah, kid. Something. I was telling him to shut up and go, and go watch the show. That's right. <laughs> 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 um, I was just saying, please tell me that's not your new headset. Yeah, that's more for my cell phone. I just have it hooked on my computer. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Moves the fat point range. Takes battleship fire. So, we're just gonna sit here. out of range. Doesn't have radar, though, so he can't see anything. So he's just Where's mine? There. He's hung. He's the one that's hung. Why won't he go? I don't know. I really do not know. Actually, Andy Rue is higher score than me, so he's going to get air, and that's actually fine, unless he wants to give it to me. Ah. I have to. I have to wait for the timeout. <clears throat> Silver Shark's getting his missile ship in up close because torrents are excellent up close against T2 tanks. <laughs> this is going to be really fun. I get to play air with the rock ego. I am going to do big things this game. Maybe. Kind of. Now watch me fall flat on my face. Alright. 
Who hasn't kicked yet? Still building ASF. Ionic. <laughs> Still building Kick nukes. Mice. Oh, good. Ah. All of the build power went poof. Wonderful. Yes! Walk right into the personal fire. Then turn around with the GC. Then turn it back around. <laughs> Gosh, I wish you could just make this stuff up, you know? If I had a YouTube channel, it'd be the most bitter channel you've ever seen in my life. You're a bitter person. <laughs> I just, these are the games I get every time. Like, Yellow wins ASF War. But does, like, what, to what end? What value have we gained from this? Yeah. We're still losing on both naval fronts. There's so many units mid, this GC is about to die to T2. I mean, what, what on earth? I'm not even sure that last nuke landed. JCV's just telling him, like, you're nuking T2 mass extractors. I have so much mass right now. Mojo just... Walked past 50 units. Okay, we'll say 40. With a GC. And now they're all going to pour into a uh, white space. <laughs> Here comes strap bombers. There's an air response because it's his GC. <laughs> Two GCs have walked past this ascending army. Two. And now white space is going up because two GCs walked past the whole army. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, guys. This is why I rage. Yay! <laughs> I'm sorry, Ionic. Not really. <laughs> There's a Titan walking around right now. The strap bombers have targeted the shield gens that were walking with it. And so now the Titan is still killing things.
<laughs> yes, the micro. He's dodging strat bombers and killing this guy. <laughs> He's dodging with the Titan. No. Strat bombers are just taking out his own game base. Game <laughs> under, maybe. He's ending the game already. Oh. I know. This guy's <laughs> so like, maybe crazy. we should build a game ender. I'm like, maybe you should have built navy in your navy position. How's that sound? <clears throat> <laughs> Strategic fail detected. <laughs> Strategic face palm detected. Gosh, I just I can't deal with well, it. Hello, Mr. He Fidget. just keeps launching nukes for no damn good reason. Alrighty then. Mojo's still telling me how awesome his air. You know, he just keeps building ASF. What are you on about? Sentence air player building air. Two air factories. Yeah! Flies ten strap bombers over this massive clump of navy. Loses all of them. Oh, come on, White. If you're losing, don't build aircraft carriers. He's got four aircraft carriers. What the fuck are you doing with four aircraft carriers? This dead battle cruiser just keeps firing its lasers as it sinks into the ocean. Ramming speed, sir. Yes, the cruiser rammed the battleship. So yellow just said, if only front had helped Navy. Well, that's helpful. How on earth was I supposed to help Navy against a guy with double eco? Maybe if Navy had helped themselves, some other effing naval units. He has so much build power, holy cow. That finished building. It's like, what is a paragon gonna do at this point? Honestly, I'm just. This guy goes, maybe he's got a paragon.
So they've already seen the Paragon. Yellow still has not scouted anything. I had high hopes for this game. I was like, comrades doing good. So, is anybody ever confused the color white with silver? I'm just curious. Uh, not to my knowledge, but I'm not going to say it's impossible. Oh, never mind. He's referring to the guy's name as silver. <laughs> Silver, of course, being Brazilian, has no idea what he's talking about, but that's okay. That's that's great. Good idea, Silver. Don't reclaim anything. Let the Hellfire missiles rain down on your remaining Tech 3 naval factory. Oh, and up it goes. So close. Oh, the first spy plane in about an hour comes out, and it doesn't even cross the mid. Ah, but we totally know there's a firebase mid now, so that's important. Two thousand done on the Paragon. Look out! Okay. Here comes another spy plane straight over the existing... Mojo, mo, Mojo, Jojo, Mark hates me. Good Lord, Ionic, how are you building that many hover tanks? Well, at least I have Seraphim Destroyers. Yellow's threatening to quit now, as if, as if we were ever in any danger. He, he built, uh, what is this, 10, 20 Oblivion Cannons mid. To what end, I don't know. But he did do it. He stopped building air altogether to focus on his Paragon, which is at 2,800. Because it's a game ender. There is so much mass just disintegrating into this water here. I don't even think Serenities would win this game. I mean, it's Settens. You just don't stand a chance. Oh, there's a Duke on the table, too. What?! There's a tech missile battery mid. I love it. Oh my god. The tech missile battery is just taking out everything this guy has. This is amazing. Damn it. Yeah, 
Ah, gummit. You know what is really awesome about this game, though? We are 45 minutes into a game of Sentence, and everybody is plus zero. It's not lagging yet. That's pretty cool. JCV has 21 air factories. Mojo has two. Mojo insists this is the way to go. Does someone really host this no share? Are well, you guys out of your game yet? We lose. Oh my gosh. This support commander is so close to the crab, it actually cannot hit the support commander. So the support commander does not have overcharge. This is going to take forever, but he's winning slowly. 300 HP at a time. That's actually kind of awesome. It's, it's pretty hilarious to watch this crab just keep spinning in circles, and the support commander keeps running into it, so it has to restart its circle again. The sea of artillery coming into this ocean astounds me, and also it is so much wasted mass, because none of it can get close to the destroyers. It's, it's literally just pouring into the sea to die. I don't floating already against Sarah from cruiser uh, destroyers. Yes. I, I literally do not understand the logic behind this decision. I can just kite until the end of time, and there is absolutely nothing that he can do about it. There's a Duke firing at the Paragon at 4300. And now a Scathus. They let it get to 4300 before they opened fire. Pretty much a dick move there, not gonna lie. But... This guy let a Scathis go up while a fat boy was just sitting there. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. There's so much navy there, but it's like... How did that... That Ithotha must have vetted right when I stopped attacking it. I dropped the bomb that should have killed it, and then it just... Wow.
Kudos to Arend. He officially has the most hover I've ever seen anywhere. That That is just mind-blowing, the amount of hover that's there. I'm just going to park and let it come to me and let it die. Because I think that is the best bet for what's going on here. ASFs are flying next to the spy planes because he told them to target just one. That's kind of hilarious, actually. So they're all just flying next to one another? And no one's shooting anything? They're just, they're just hanging out. JCV had like... How long do you guys have before you're done? I'm going to be losing this in just a minute. I no longer... I can no longer fit enough destroyers in one spot of ocean to kill the amount of hover that there is. Like, I don't know how this critical mass was achieved, but it was. I've never seen that much hover. Ionix in on it, too. What do you guys want to play? What map? I uh, host it up. Well, Davis apparently, Lee. this is how Hover counters Navy. <laughs> Something's got to give here. You needed uh, UEF battlecruisers. No, not for this. The not T1 stuff. Not T1 stuff. It's like a half and half mix of T1 artillery and T2 destroyers. Or T2 hover tanks, sorry. My brain is out of it. But um, it's just like there's so much of it. Ah, I think I finally broke the front line. Hallelujah. I was wondering when that was going to stop. Goodness gracious. And I have now lost because there's going to be a YOLO in my base and I have nothing to counter it with. So yay! I'll go meet my death with dignity here. That is a mind-blowing amount of hover. Like how that's even possible. <laughs> Someone sounds like, Dave, it sounds like you're underwater. You're just, your control button is held down. Dave. Stop using the bathroom. There you what? go. Your microphone is terrible. It makes it sound like you're underwater. So basically, we just talking. heard. Yeah, I know that, but your your push to talk was held down anyway. Uh, what map should I host? I don't know. They're gonna be here soon. What do we want? Anybody got a vote? Ionic, are you sticking around for another game? Ah, no. I was trying to get under your feet where you couldn't hit me. Oh well. Well, no share royally screwed us on that one. That was that was just terrible. I want to see how many he's got 5 
15, 20 T1 factories and about 20 T2 factories. 25 T1 and 20 T2. And then Jukebox is pouring Artie into the ocean and Ionix pouring Artie into the ocean. That's three people pushing Hover. I was wondering how there was so much of it. I'm like, there's not any way that there can be that much Hover from one person. <laughs> That's just stupid. <laughs> Good game on it.